Today we're building a firewood shelter from four 8-foot 2x4s and 15 6-foot cedar fence pickets. To start, measure and cut all the fence pickets 4 feet from the flat edge or 2 feet from the dog-eared side. Either way, you're left with a bunch of 2 foot and 4 foot pieces. I used 4 8 foot 2x4s for this project and had 2 of them cut to 4 feet and the other 2 cut at 4 foot 7 inches. Starting with the back wall, I laid two of the four foot two by fours on the floor and put the four foot fence pickets on top making sure everything is square. Next I screwed the fence pickets to the two by fours. I didn't screw the bottom one in, I was just using that as a spacer since everything will be about six inches up from the ground. Then I stood the back wall up against my table, placed the same picket I used as a spacer from the back wall on the ground, and used it as a spacer for the first side. I screwed in a 2 foot fence picket on the side of the back wall, grabbed the 4 foot 7 inch 2x4 and screwed the fence picket into that. I worked my way up this side, then repeated the process for the other side. At this point, it's not real sturdy, but the floor and roof will really make this thing solid. On the 2x4 supports for the floor, I again used the fence pickets to determine the height. I screwed the 2x4 floor supports into the legs on both left, right, and front and back. I cut a bunch of 18 inch pieces of fence board and used that as the floor. I had a piece of hardboard laying around that I used as a spacer between each picket. I screwed the floor pieces in, making sure to pre-drill so I didn't split anything. Then for the roof, I cut about 2 inches off the end of the short 2x4s that were cut from the 4 foot 7 inch 2x4. I cut that at about a 15 degree angle. I did the same process here as I did on the back wall. I laid out the 2x4s, placed the fence pickets on top evenly, and screwed them in. I could have put a diagonal support under the roof, but as long as nothing's going on top of this, it'll be fine. It's really not meant to support weight, just keep the wood dry. If you have any questions about the project, let me know in the comment section and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Next, I grabbed a couple of clamps, set the roof on top of the shelter, and screwed everything together. I made it so the back hangs over less than the front, so it can be set up against the wall without sticking out any further than it has to. This firewood shelter holds about a quarter cord of wood and is a really quick project that looks great and is fast and easy to build. 
This took me about two hours to build, which included moving cameras around and making sure I was in the right lighting. And that's it! If you like this video, head over to my YouTube channel.